What's up guys, Call of Us here and welcome to episode 360 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Battle series on the previous episode. We got 3 wins and 0 defeats, taking us to 752 wins, 323 defeats, a 429 game differential. And Merry Christmas to everyone before we start this episode. Uh, I'm actually recording this on Christmas Day, so I hope it's gone well for everyone watching this video. And I hope the rest of the year goes well for you as well. So with that, let's go underway with battle number one. Okay guys, we're going to begin battle number one with a Araquanid versus an Exploud. The question is, do I want to do a Miracle? Or do I just go for the Liquidation? Please do a lot. Should have went Miracorta, would have killed. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, I think we just have to let Araquanid go down, if I'm honest. Um, I mean, we can go Ho-Ho, because I do have a lot of special defense. Even still, I don't take that anywhere near as well as I thought I would. I outspeed, don't I? Vanilla Boom Burst shouldn't kill. Oops. It doesn't. Very nice. Let's go for another Flame Charge. And there we go. We're now at plus two speed. We'll have the leftovers. And what's my opponent gonna bring out? Because they have to be very worried. Okay, they don't because they have a Lunatone and I can't do a single thing to that. Um, let's go... I suppose we just go Gastrodon. He's probably going for the Rock-type move, so... Yes, we will. He's actually going to Calm Mind. I should have went Araquanid. Let's go for a Scald. Psychic's going to do just under half. The Skull doesn't get the burn, unfortunately. I'm going to Skull again. It's going to take me down to 10%. And we're going to Critical Hit and take him out. Very nice. Critical Hit, definitely mad. Because we got around the Calm Mind's special defense boost. Goes Lord. I'll try and Toxic it. It's just going to crunch me to death. That's okay. Araquanid actually gets outsped by one point, which is unfortunate, but we can deal with it. Hmm. Let's go for Abominable, and let's go for an Ice Hammer or Close Combat. Let's go Ice Hammer. Should have went Close Combat. It does a decent amount of damage, if we're being honest. Um, let's go out into ho Toxic. Not nice. We do have Regenerator, though. Let's Flame Charge. 2 hit KO. And it still should be a 2 hit KO. Good. So Bronzo goes down, crit did not matter. Because that half the damage I did, I did 41%, and then I did 19. That makes sense. Let's go for a Brave Bird. I'm just gonna let O O go down. That does no damage. And there's the Rain Dance. We go down next turn. I do out speed, which is very nice. It's just gonna take me out with the waterfall. And I may be in trouble here. Maybe not. Because I can go Aurorus. Get rid of the uh, rain. I do have to sack off Aurorus in order to do this. But that's fine. Let's go Freeze Dry. If he wants to get the rain up, he has to sacrifice Kingdra. He has to sacrifice Kingdra anyway. Free strike, obviously going to take out, it's four times super effective. Because it's super effective on water types, so only ice move that is. Actually, is one of 
Tyram's special moves. Super effective on water types, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll go for a Blizzard. It's gonna do a lot to the Guzzlord. He's gonna EQ take me out, that's fine though. We can add speed. And a nice hammer should easily take him out. Um, yes, we'll go Ice Hammer. Or Close Combat. Let's Close Combat, just to be safe. Oh, it was a speed tie. I was wondering. Jump up, so obviously gonna outspeed me. I'm just gonna close combat because he should just take me out this turn. Yes, he is going to. Didn't have the flying gem. Uh, we can go Araquanid, although that's not great for us. Um, let's just go liquidation. So it's going to be a one or if we manage to pick up a win here, although I'm not sure if we will. Let's go for the Brave Bird. And that is going to one-shot the jump bluff, and we are going to pick up a win in ball number one, guys. Let's get on to ball number two. Okay, guys, on to battle number two. And we're going to leave with Morwell versus Suicune, which is kind of nice, but I really don't want to be burnt. And I feel like I'm going to be burnt if I steer. So I'm going to Mega Evolve and go for a Sword Stance. He's got an Ice Beam. That's better for me. We're gonna go for a knockoff. You predicted the switch. It's a definite. That's almost a kill, and we don't outspeed, unfortunately. So we do have to switch out. Let's go out into a Mulga. Fire Blast, we can just take. And we can get off a charge beam here. It's fine with me. I don't get the special attack boost, unfortunately. However, we should outspeed. So we're going to go for Air Slash. Ice Beam taking me out every time. Now this week we didn't go for Scald, which I found very strange. Because it's leftovers. Which will speed 171. Right. So you speed tie with Articuno. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try and go for freeze strike here. We do go first, that's a two hit KO. He's gonna go for Ice Beam again. Is he going for freezes, maybe? It's a ten percent chance. I could see my opponent going for freezes. I also have noticed that it seems to be a plethora of ice types today. And that's going to take out the Suicune. Very well done, Articuno. What is going to be my opponent's next Pokemon? It's definitely not the Volcanion. It's a Heatran. He's used three legendaries so far. I only have the one. Um, well, we don't want to stay in. So I'm going to go Magmortar. We don't have Flashfire. Magmortar doesn't get Flashfire. Interesting. Don't think I knew that. Um, we're gonna go Hidden Power just to guarantee we get a hit off. It's gonna roll me out into the Mulwile. I'm obviously not going to stay in. So I'm gonna go back out into my motor. Take a Nullifier Blast. Which is fine. Now we EQ. I outspeed. I always imagined Heatran as being quite fast. The fact that it's outsped by Magmortar is quite strange to me. Although Magma is quite quick. So that's obviously going to one shot. And he's down to one legendary left, hopefully. Flodges. Okay. So Morwild does brilliantly against Flodges. Um, I probably want to save uh, Magmortar. So I think going out into Excadrill is probably the best. Now let's go Excadrill. Because it's quickest. 
It outspeeds the Plodgers, which means it only has to take one hit. Iron Head should kill the Plodgers, it'll also kill the uh, stricken, uh, what's it called, Volcanion. I do not outspeed this, however. And Fire Blast is almost certainly on its way. I think I willingly sacrifice my mortar. Draco Meteor. That's perfectly fine with me. Because there's no way you stay in. I don't think. I could have went out in the mole while there. I was worried about the Fire Blast. Um, do I go more well now? Go for an Iron Head? I have less attack than Excadrill, so... Actually, I don't. I have more because of huge power. That was a mistake. I should have went more well and went for an Iron Head. Draco not going to do anything. I should. If I had known he was going Draco, I would have just stayed in. If I'm being perfectly honest. Volcanion gets out spared. Floor just gets out spared. Unless my opponent's last Pokemon's really good here. It's a Mega Kanga. Yes, that is really good. We're gonna EQ. You're gonna outspeed and EQ me to death. I don't like that. Let's go Articuno. And let's go for a Toxic or a Freeze Dry. It's Toxic. It's gonna crunch. It's gonna get the, the physical defense drop, which kind of sucks. Because that forces the switch. I'm gonna go Wishy Washy. Because I don't think Wishy Washy is crucial to winning the battle. Return. It's gonna do a lot. It's gonna do over half. And it outspeeds me, so we're not gonna get anything done with Wishy Washy, unfortunately. It's gonna take me out. That's okay. I'm obviously going Articuno here. I think I just Roost. I end up on more health than I was previously. And he just lost quite a bit. I think I Freeze Dry this turn. Just to guarantee the death of the Kanga. Because I think Morwell can kill the rest of my opponent's team. Forger's obviously coming out. Let's go around the Morwell. If he had predicted that, that would have been a really good play by my opponent. I'm gonna try and Toxic for some reason. It wouldn't have done anything. And we're gonna take out the Forger's. And Volcanion does outspeed me. However, it's on no health, so a freeze dry will kill it. So I'm not worried about letting Morwell go down. Just go out and Articuno, make sure I click freeze dry, and take out the Volcanion. So we are going to pick up a narrow 1 0 win in battle number 2, guys. My opponent's legendary and previous Uber filled. I don't know if Mega Kanga got moved back up into Ubers. But that is going to be the second win of our episode today, and let's go on to the third and final battle. Okay guys, battle number three, and this is a questionable decision, whether I stay in or not. I do have focus slash, so I definitely stay in. That's Thunder Wave. Skuntank, that's the perfect form on the Thunder Wave. Um, it, he's gonna pursue. Almost certainly, and I don't have a brilliant switch in, so I'm just going to Ice Beam. He actually Fire Blasted. It's a bit of a surprise. If that's the case, I'm going down to Quagsire. Good. I was going to say, if you predicted me to stay in first turn, that would have been insane. Um, let's EQ. If he goes down to Soul Rock, it's not the end of the world. It's going to go on to B drill, which is good for me, I would say. I can just scald here. I'll be in a pretty good situation. He's probably Mega B drill. 
The Exes is not going to kill though, and we're going to take out the Mega Beedro, which is huge. I don't like Life Oak Quagsire. That's something I have to say. I do not like Life Oak Quagsire. Like, Quagsire is a bulky Pokemon. It's meant to take hits, not give them. Um, I guess in case he doesn't attack, I go recover. He goes Ice Beam, takes me out. That's fine. Do we have any priority? No. 261. Yeah, we've got nothing that can outspeed there. But we do have a Focus Sash. So I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball. That's fine. I have a Focus Sash. You are now dead. So Deoxy's attack goes down, which is huge. And I could see Skun Tank switch, switch back in. It's actually going to be Relicanth. So I'm just going to Destiny Bond to guarantee a kill. And now we go Stormy, I think. No, that's a bad idea. We go Armaldo. Simply because it can actually do damage to the Soul Rock and the Skun Tank without taking super effective damage. Which is what Stormy would have taken. Like I could have went for Scald or Hydro Pump, whichever it has. That did way too much. That did way too much. I was hoping Armaldo would be my counter to Skun Tank. Um I don't have protect. Miss, please, maybe? No. Okay, so we're gonna go down. Critical hit. Critical hit did not matter his first hit wasn't a critical hit. Um, I think we just go for Starmie. Go for the Scald. The best case scenario switches out into Skuntank. He doesn't. Just lets the Sword Rock go down. That was the correct play. Interesting that he if he has dark moves on the Skuntank, that he chose to, which I don't think he does at this point, I chose to go for Fire Blast on the Frost Blast. Um, we will just go for Scald. Yes, you don't have Water Absorb. Hopefully we'll burn you. We're not going to. Earthquake's going to do way too much. Did more than half, so I can't recover Storm. Although I probably should have. We do get the burn, so the Wish Cash is going down along with me. That's very nice. So now we have... A Torkoal and a Jinx to take out a Skuntank. Torkoal should be able to do it by itself thanks to Drought. Boosting my Lava Plume. So we'll go for the Lava Plume. Will we even outspeed? We won't. He's going to outspeed. Poison Jab, going to do a little bit. Not too much though. And two Lava Plumes will take him out. He can't one-shot me. I don't think there's anything he can do to one-shot me. So it looks like we are going to begin three wins on Christmas Day. Gonna fire blast just for I don't know why. But that is going to be the end of today's episode, guys. We did get three wins on Christmas Day on episode 360. And that's gonna take us to 755 wins. 323 defeats a 432 game differential. I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you've had a great Christmas. And if you've enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe as well. From me, Corvus, thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.